Roanoke's Berglund Center will be overflowing with superheroes, video game characters, and even some TV star costumes so good you'll do a double take. The Big Lick Comic Con is happening this weekend. It started out as a small homegrown get together and now it's growing to something big. That news reporter Shane Dwyer joins us now with the story. So Shane, uh, how, what's the growth all about? You know, John and Brittany, it's really exploding. Cosplaying is one of the biggest things that they do here. That is a combination of costume and playing. You see it there on the screen. You do it as your favorite character and maybe a person. Maybe I'll go dress as my favorite local news anchor, my favorite meteorologist. I'll let you guys duke it out and figure that one out. The comic conventions, though, are a celebration of all things geek. It is becoming a signature event for the area, drawing people in from up and down the East Coast. And it's a nice injection to the local economy. When the popcorn's so fresh it steams up the glass, you know it's something good. Roanoke's Grandin Theater is a local gem, and executive director Ian Fortier takes pride in showing it off. We're really pleased that we have people come to town, and we know that we have partners that we work with who are responsible for bringing people to town. Partners like the Big Lick Comic Con, which the theater sponsors. The fifth con is slated for this weekend. It's crazy because we went from just our first event of around 1,700 people uh, in August of 2017 to now anticipating about 7,000 plus. J.D. Sutvin of Big Lick Entertainment makes it happen. In just two years, the biannual Geek Fest has become a destination. We were definitely impressed that we saw some people come from like 30 and 45 minutes, maybe Lynchburg coming into Roanoke, but now it's like Indiana and Pennsylvania and North Carolina and Florida. About 1,500 people will be out of towners, so staying in our hotels, eating and shopping between all the gaming and cosplay. It's no San Diego, one of the biggest cons in the world, but it's also under 20 bucks to get in. They're seeing that it's really not that expensive to come have a weekend in Roanoke as opposed to go to Chicago and yes, there might be bigger guests, but that could be Disney World level expense. It's no schmucks either. Sean Astin headlines this weekend the biggest name they've ever had. Lord of the Rings, Rudy, and of course, cult classic The Goonies, which will have a VIP showing at the Grand and Friday night with the actor himself. It's great for the economy. It's great for the, for the impact on on the city, it's great for the businesses that surround it and support it. So uh, we're pretty excited about the relationship. Tickets are still available to Big Lick Comic Con and kids 10 and under are free. Nothing gets better than that. Foam and cardboard weapons are OK if you go, but any real weapons, however, whether they work or not, are not allowed. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.